I take a lot of pride in what I'm doing now, and this pride and satisfaction really come from knowing we have opened new doors for many people around the world. We are the educational testing service, and we have been around since 1947, and we are the largest nonprofit educational research organization in the whole world. Our mission as a nonprofit organization is to support equity and quality in education for people by providing assessments, learning tools, and services built on our rigorous research. And because we are a nonprofit organization, what we earn above and beyond what we need to run our test programs is invested back in research. And this allows us to do the more exciting foundational research to help advance the field. My name is Larry Davis. I'm Young Soon So. My name is Spiros Papayor Yu. My name is Brent Bridgman. My name is Veronica Laughlin. My name is Don Powers. My name is Jonathan Schmidtko. Our English Language Learning and Assessment Center is the largest in the world, and our research in this area has also been significantly enhanced by our first-rate research centers in other areas, including cognitive and learning sciences, natural language processing and speech technologies, and advanced psychometrics. We now have a whole TOEFL family of assessments, including TOEFL Primary, TOEFL Junior, TOEFL ITP, and TOEFL IBT. The design and the development of the TOEFL assessments, including the TOEFL IBT test, is supported by a few cornerstones. At the very foundation are the standards for educational and psychological testing, which are the standards used by educational testing around the world. Using these standards as a guide, we follow very rigorous test development and review process using highly trained assessment specialists. Our test development efforts are also supported by very strong research. We also conduct internal audits of our test programs every year to make sure that the test content, procedures, and research are in compliance with the standards. We also invite leading experts to sit on oversight committees for our assessments. We don't just make a claim because we think it would be nice. We make sure that there's research to back up everything that we say. Assessing young students is an area that should be researched carefully. Research is absolutely critical for us to ensure that people have the information they need to make decisions. If you're going to use a test score to potentially inform a life-changing decision, these are questions uh, that you should be able to ask or even demand that a test developer answer. Your ability to speak and communicate in English is very, very important, and many students, they need to develop those skills. The TOEFL IBT test was the first comprehensive, uh, robust test of English that was delivered by computer online. It integrates all four skills, which is exactly what learners need to do uh, when they communicate in an academic environment. They need to listen, speak, write, and read. It's not just a bunch of multiple choice items. Test takers really have to do some meaty tasks that require them to do things like write from sources. They have to listen to lectures and do readings and synthesize this information. These kinds of tasks, they're not easy, uh, but these are the things that students in college really have to do. And that's based on research, not just on our own idea of what students do. We're making a difference by making sure that our tests are valid and fair. It's very cool to think that what I do will make for a better test, which in turn will make for better decision making, and I hope ultimately make for better learning of English. We don't hope to make a difference. We purposefully strive to make one. We are using one language to actually communicate across borders and cultures, English. These R&D people are actually the intellectual engine of ETS. who are committed to delivering the highest standards of quality and innovation. And these are the people who will make the TOEFL name stand strong in the many years to come.